What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video we're going to take a look at this 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD LTZ with the 6.6 liter Duramax under the hood. So let's get into it. All right, so today we're talking 3500 HD dually with the Duramax LTZ trim MSRP $85,900. This thing is stuffed and is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're new here, what I'm going to do is a quick walk around the exterior of the truck, show you some of the highlighted features there, and then once we are done, I'll put the window sticker up on the screen for you guys to see, and then we'll go over the interior as well. Just to kick things off, I always like to show the key fob. So we've got our locker, unlock, remote, start, drop, the tailgate, panic button, and then we've got our Chevy bow tie there on the back. First thing you have to notice is, of course, the new signature LED headlights. Absolutely love this design, much better than the previous generation. I know that uh, previous gen was a little bit controversial when it came to the Silverado HDs. Let me know what you guys think, whether or not you like this design uh, better than the previous gen. I think most of you probably do. Your headlights are here. You've got some carbon fiber in the headlight housing, which I like. You've got the Chevy bow tie in the amber marker. And then if we drop down low, you'll see you've got your LED fog lights, front parking sensors, chrome tow recovery hooks, and then underneath the Chevy bow tie, you'll see the front camera for the HD surround vision camera system. Up on the hood, you've got a big functional hood scoop, and that is there feeding nice cool air to the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel matched up to the Allison 10-speed transmission. On the side of the truck, we get a look at our 18-inch HD wheels. Those are wrapped in 235-80 R18 Michelin tires. You can see we've got our 3500 HD badging on the door. We've got our folding and extending trailer tow mirrors. I'll show you how those work once we get inside. And if you look underneath, you'll see, yes, another camera for the HD surround vision camera system. I'm gonna step back really quick so you guys can see this full side profile. If I can even get back here far enough, not trip over this traverse. She is not a small truck, that is, that is for sure. On the side of the bed, you've got an easy step. Going around the back of the bed, you've got another easy step, and then you've got these handholds right here in the bed rail. So you can just grab here, throw your foot right up on the step, get yourself in and out of the truck nice and easy. You know, it's never too bad to, uh, it's never a bad idea to go easy on the knees. Back of the truck, you've got the Chevy Multiflex tailgate. So you've got the top and the bottom. I won't go through all the different features of that. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. If not, uh, check out my channel. I definitely have a video going over that. One thing I do like, and I'll mention it, you can pop these out and put LED lights, which is kind of nice if you're going to be tailgating or doing something, you need a little bit extra light. Factory spray in bed liner. You've got tie down hooks with plenty of room for expansion. If you need more, you've got your power outlet back here. Don't mind the pollen. It is crazy. I actually washed this truck this morning. LED bed lighting. You've got, it's all set up ready for fifth wheel. You've got the Chevy bow tie on the back. And then on the left side, you've got your trailer tow plugs and you've got a hand grab. Uh, once again, it lets yourself pull in and out a little bit easier into the bed because uh, you can use the multi-flex tailgate as a step. Go ahead and close this really quick. On the back, you've got a rear backup camera. You've got an LED light that shines down on your trailer hitch. So if you're gonna hook something up at night and you'll be able to see, that's always nice to have. Your rear backup sensors, if I didn't mention those already, and that's kind of the, uh, that's the back of the truck. Back of the cab, you've got your power sliding rear window, LED third brake light, and then there is another camera. Once again, you can never have too many cameras. Now, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put the window sticker up on the screen right now. I am recording this video in 4K, so if you wanna take a screenshot, by all means, go ahead and do that now. If you're on PC, you can hit print screen, you can open up MS Paint, you can hit paste, and it will save it that way as well. Uh, so you can review it later. A couple things real quick I will highlight. You can see 2024 Silverado 3500 dual rear wheel crew LTZ four wheel drive, Summit white, jet black, Duramax 6.6 turbo diesel, Allison 10 speed. You can see the Duramax diesel is actually a $9,490 option. And then we've got the LTZ plus package, $2,990. We've got the 18 inch polished forged aluminum wheels. We've also got the technology package, the gooseneck fifth wheel and the LTZ Convenience Package 2. Adaptive cruise control, power sunroof. This thing, once again, pretty stuffed out. All said and done, we're looking at an $85,920 MSRP. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that window sticker off in three, two, one. All right, so you can see we've got our jet black leather interior back here. You've got 10 quart storage compartments on the back of both seats. 
You've got perforated leather because the seats are heated back here. You've got your armrest, of course. That doubles as a cup holder. I, I don't think this will ever go away. These things have been around forever at this point. There is a better look at your door, and I will pull the camera around so you can see the, uh, the door that I'm at as well. On the back of the console, you've got your heated seat controls, you've got your USB-C, USB port, you've got your vents, you've got the map pockets, and then we do have the all-weather floor mats back here. And then I'll go ahead and back up so you guys can see the door. That's the passenger compartment. And now let's go up front because that's probably what most of you want to see. All right, I'm going to give you a peek at the door first. And then everybody always yells at me for not showing the stickers down here. So I'm going to go ahead and come down, and I'm going to give you a look at your stickers. Let me know if that works out for you guys. So there's your bottom one. There's your top one. And I think that's it. I think that's all you guys need. All right, so you've got your black leather seats. You've got the gray stitching with the black leather, perforated, of course, because these are heated and ventilated. Let's hop inside. Now, I am going to go through this uh, relatively quickly. I try not to keep you guys here all day. Of course, at the end, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, I will try to answer all of those in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and start on the left side. You can see we've got our power locks. We've got our memory seat controls. We've got our windows, our power mirrors. I'll go ahead and press that button. You'll see the mirrors power extend out. I'll bring them back in, and then of course you can also power fold them in as well. On the dash, starting over here on the left, this is your 15 inch multicolor heads up display. It's kind of a pain to show uh, in video, especially with all the pollen that just will not go away, but you can see me moving it around and adjusting it there on the screen, changing the display. Uh, really cool system there if you're into heads up displays. Keeps your eyes on the road, which is probably good, especially if you're gonna use this thing to trailer a lot and go long distances. Electronic parking brake, we've got our four wheel drive controls with our mode selector. We've got our headlight controls, fog lights, gauge cluster brightness. We've got a spotlight over the bed. Jumping up onto the steering wheel, we've got our heated steering wheel, our forward collision alert, our adaptive cruise control. Over on the right, we've got our Bluetooth hands-free controls. And then this little guy here goes through uh, all the different information on our 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. And this is customizable. I always change this one. Right side, time and temp, that's what I want. I wanna know what it's like outside. I wanna know what time it is. Uh, go over to navigation, all your different information, and I'm just, you know, going down on this wheel in order to go through the, all that stuff. Uh, over here, you've got your 13.4 inch full color HD touch display. You've got AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay. You've got uh, Google Assistant built in, the Google Play Store, Google Maps. Uh, Google actually purchased Waze. So if you're like me and you're uh, someone who prefers to use Waze, it's kind of nice because you kind of have that integrated into Google Maps now. Uh, I also really like how you can do the split display, and I like this analog clock. I don't know why. It's just something I like. Um, you can set up, when you set up your trailers, the truck can actually remember multiple trailers, so everything's set up there. You can see Amazon Alexa, so you can uh, talk to this thing, have a conversation. You'll never be lonely, at least, so there's that. Uh, but really great system, and I do want to show you the camera system. So here's your uh, HD surround vision camera system. Go ahead and put the 360 view. So you can see a 360 degree overview. We're looking at the front. We're looking, we can look at the rear. We can look at your curb hunter. So this is nice if you're gonna ha have to pull this thing up close to a curb uh, or your, any tight scenario really, because you get that big old back end hanging out. There's your back, there's your front, overhead front, overhead rear trailer hitch cam. I mean, if you, you can even see what's going on in the bed of the truck. If you crash this thing into something or back it into something, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, there's, you know, there is no, there's no more blind spots. So, uh, that's, that's a you problem. Uh, down low, we've got our exhaust brake. We've got our lane departure warning, parking sensors on or off, drop the tailgate hazards, traction control, home button. I'm glad we've got a physical button to bring you back to the home screen always. And then physical, uh, button here for your power as well as your volume control. Down low, we've got our trailer brake controller, your start-stop button. We've got our heated and ventilated seats, HVAC controls. We've got a USB-C, USB port. We've got uh, our auxiliary switches here. I'm glad they have these here. I like that setup. Rubberized section here in the console so things won't slide around. You've got your cup holders. Big center console. I'll lift that up. You've got your wireless charging mat here. It's nice that they've angled this, put this here instead of used to be on the top of the lid. I don't know how many people remember that. Um, so it's not going to slide around or fall or you hit the brakes and things going to go everywhere. So that's nice. Uh, power outlet, another USB, USB-C. We've got uh, an LED light in there. We've got our little organization tray here. 
And then I'll go ahead and shut that. And then over here on the right side of the truck, we've got the top glove box, which is nice. This is wrapped in leather. It's almost kind of like a little secret button. You almost wouldn't know it's there. I mean, you do, but you, you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, and then you've got your other glove box down low. Up high, you do have your moonroof. You've got your programmable garage door openers. Uh, you've got your LED uh, interior lighting, the controls for your power sliding rear window and your moonroof, OnStar buttons, and then you've got your mirror, and I love this thing. Uh, it's just a much better view, in my opinion, instead of what you would normally look at, look at where you're kind of like looking through the back glass, or if you're carrying a load or pulling something, I mean, that's going to make it a pain. The bed of my truck's always full. I've, I've got dog crates back there, so you can't ever see. Uh, and this makes things a little bit easier, at least for me. Uh, and that, my friends, is the pretty quick rundown. I think I managed to touch on at least everything. Maybe I missed something. You guys can yell at me in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. If you're in the New England area, martychevrolet.com. Go ahead and get yourself a new truck. I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Take care.